What's going on everybody? Welcome back. We're going fishing today. Afternoon session out here at the lake. It's about 1.30 or so. Just about to get on the water. Um, had some other stuff to do. And for all you San Diego fishermen that um, follow my content, if you forget weights or you need to buy something at the lake, now at Lake Otai and at Lake Hodges, you guys can get some of the drop shot weights that I sell at some of the local shops down here in San Diego. You can get those now at the concessions at those two lakes. I'll be working on maybe San Vicente or something like that as well. But for right now, we got Lake Hodges and Lake Otai on board. And today it's gonna have a little wind out on the lake and um, I'm gonna try to throw Texas rig six cents ridge worm. I've been wanting to catch a fish on that and that's a big fish bait so we'll see what happens um, but uh, with the wind we might throw some reaction baits and this time of year fish might be shallow so I think uh, a square bill could be fun to throw out here today too but we're gonna have to see um, just going out here trying to catch a few fish before it gets dark uh, d probably gonna have around four hours or so to fish before I got to get out of here so hopefully I can put something together put a good video together for you guys but you know what it's time for a cinematic intro let's go Perfect! 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 I hope you like the uh, cinematic intro right there. We're on the water, we're idling out past the five mile an hour zone, and then we're gonna go do some fishing. Let's get to the back of the lake, let's go fishing, and let's see what happens. Let's go. There's one. There's one. <laughs> Not what we're after, but uh, got a bluegill. But we got a bluegill. <laughs> Just got bit. Been fishing for a long time. Just got bit and didn't let it eat it enough. Maybe it'll come back and eat it again. Eat it. Eat it. Oh. 
There it is. He's on there. Oh, man. Well, there you go. Didn't eat it all the way. So frustrating. You know it sucks when you try to get these bites and they're few and far between and the fishing's not that good and especially when you get bit on something like this this is a big fish bait so it's really frustrating when you don't end up capitalizing on those bites and you know those fish could have been really really good fish so it's a little frustrating that i can't seem to get these fish in the boat so we're gonna keep at it we're not gonna give up hopefully we can get one of them here pretty soon There's one. Take it, there we go. You should have it there. There's one, there we go. There's one. It's coming up. Stay on there, fish. We've been fishing all day for you. Feels like a decent one, but I don't know. Feels like a good one. Stay on there, fish. Stay on there, fish. Oh yeah, solid fish, there we go. Yeah, finally got one, hell yeah. There we go, there we go. Six inch ridge worm, just like that. Check that out, check that out, finally, finally got one. There we go, there we go. All right, let's put this guy back. See you later. So I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty rad. Um, super pumped to catch that fish. I've thrown that bait a handful of different times and I've really just been trying to get a bite on that big worm and I finally got one. That's a big fish bait. Um, if you're gonna throw that bait, get ready to hold on and get a big bite. Um, probably not going to get as many bites as if you threw something smaller like a six inch worm four inch worm something like that but if you're looking for a big bite throw that six inch ridge worm that thing is going to get bit it's going to catch you a solid fish and uh hopefully i can get another one before this day's over but been a grind been a tough day so far that's my third bite of the day so far on that ridge worm and the first one that i got in the boat um not used to fishing a big worm like that if you guys follow my channel I don't really throw a big worm very much, so hopefully I can get another fish in this boat before the end of the trip. Um, what I'm doing is just fishing these offshore rocks. Like as you can see on the bank right here, guys, all these rocks go into the lake and then they continue down further into the water. And uh, all I'm trying to do is fish this thing in about 15 to 20, 25 foot of water, something like that. Just fish it slow. And that last time when I got bit, because the first couple bites I got, I wasn't letting them take the, the bait far long enough. But I just opened the bale up and just let that fish run with it for a little while and then put the hammer to them and uh, got that fish in the boat. And you just never know how big that fish is gonna be when you're fishing one of these kinds of baits because man, these are big fish bait.
Well, that's gonna do it for today's video. I got kicked off the lake. Um, we gotta be off the lake by sunset and the ranger came around and told us that we needed to get off the water. So that's why I'm doing this in the car. But a tough day overall. Um, it could have been better. I did mess up a couple of bites on the ridge worm. I didn't let the fish take it long enough. So um, I could have had an okay afternoon, but I just had that weird bluegill bite on the uh, ice jig. And then I caught that one good one on the ridge worm. But that's something I'm gonna start throwing a little bit more often. I think it's definitely a, a bait that can get a big bite, um, especially this time of year. Um, the fishing's generally tough here at home this time of year and um, it's proving to be that way for sure. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like that Ridge Worm, go get it. I got a code for six cents, it's Luna10. You just go to their website and uh, get whatever you want on the, on the website. Use my code Luna10 at checkout and it's gonna save you some money. And uh, as always, make sure to check out all the links down in the description of the video. But again, hope you guys like the video and if you're new, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Later.